former state government MP Chris Davis could make a stunning switch to the ALP. Dr Davis quit the LNP and is talking with Labor about next year's election. He's told the ABC 730 Queensland he's considering Campbell Newman's seat of Ashgrove. The resignation of Chris Davis forced the by-election that gave Stafford to Labor with a record swing. In an extraordinary twist, the unconventional former LNP member may contest the Premier's seat of Ashgrove for the ALP if Kate Jones decides not to. I believe the people of Ashgrove have the same values and expectations as the people of Stafford. So that why, that's why there is a natural affinity, I believe, um, between what I did in Stafford and what I could potentially do in Ashgrove. The news caps off a difficult week for the government. The huge loss in Stafford prompted an apology by the Premier and some policy backdowns, followed by a couple of unflattering opinion polls. Although the Treasurer is staying upbeat. Oh, I think we've had a, a great week in capping it off here at Kedron State High School, one of the outstanding high schools in my electorate. They were there to open a Chinese language and culture centre called a Confucius Classroom. Perceived wisdom is that the baton now passes from the Education Minister to Mr Nichols to come up with good stories for the government. I think you'll have to wait and see what Treasury Week brings you, but I can tell you what we will be doing is making sure that we are working hard to ensure that the economy is getting back on the track. But there's more annoyance for the LNP. Tony Fitzgerald says its politically motivated expressions of regret can't possibly be regarded as sincere. And the opposition leader will star in a Courier-Mail feature story this weekend. Having spent the week reacting and repositioning, the government next week will want to get onto the front foot. The Queensland plan to be released in Harvey Bay on Thursday will be the centrepiece. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.